here's why I'm not in this interview. I we confirmed me and Tom right before a hockey tournament. Hold it in, hold it in, hold it in, there you go. And well, I got uh, caught a virus and got sick, literally threw up that morning that, you know, and it was the last day of a hockey turn. We raced back, I fell asleep because, well, and other reasons I couldn't make it. And thanks, Chris, Jack, and Rich. And we also have the hockey club t-shirts out now, so thank you for watching this video. Chris Jericho, Rich Ward, and Fozzie coming up. I'm Tom, and Bob's not here today because he's sick. Sick. And this is Chris Jericho, and this is Rich. Hey, hey! Thanks for having us. Sorry that Bob is sick. Hey, Bob. Being the master of all media, is there a way we can clickbait this video? How do you want to clickbait it? What do you have to say? <laughs> hey, shut up, kid! That could be the clickbait. Chris Jericho tells eight-year-old kid to shut up. That might work. You think that might work? Is it true that Clint Bobsky and Mongoose McQueen have been, never been seen together? That's a true story. And they've both uh, suffered uh, bizarre guarding accidents that are no longer with us. I didn't realize that Clint Bobsky was no longer here. Yeah, he's gone. Dang. Yeah, he, uh, Legend. Yeah, after, uh, uh, was that the show called, Jack? Southpaw Regional After Southpaw Regional Wrestling, he uh, disappeared for a while. Who is a music producer that Fozzie wants to work with in the future? Oh, Mutt Lang, right? Mm-hmm. It has to be Mutt Lang. Mutt Lang did all the classic ACDC records, all the Def Leppard records, Shania Twain, Brian Adams, I mean, you name it. So, Clint uh, Bobsky's solo record. Clint Bobsky's unreleased solo record. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's a good one. And um, I think if you look at famous producers, uh, uh, Bob Rock is always a good one. I think currently Kevin Cherko, who's actually from, I believe, Regina. Um, Moose Jaw. Moose Jaw. Okay, there you go. He's a little other prairie boy, might be kind of good. So, But our producer <coughs> that we work with right now is Johnny Andrews, is uh, the best guy for, for the job that we think. Our mom is Australian. How was the recent Fozzie tour laying down under? Wow. It was a lot of fun. We always like going to Australia. Um, had some great shows. And tell me what you saw at the zoo, Rich. Yeah, a, uh, a quokka. Do you know what a quokka is? A quokka looks like if um, a kangaroo had a girlfriend that was a squirrel. And, <laughs> <laughs> and together they had the cutest uh, animal puppy baby of all time. And they're very famous for, uh, if you look up on Twitter, under the hashtag Quokka Selfies, they are uh, notoriously the most friendly and smiliest of all animals. So, and it did smile when I, yeah, and it actually, after it said, hey, make sure to tag me on that, it was pretty cool. <laughs> Rel uh, relatively, Fozzie has been working this album for a long time. When will there be a new material from Fozzie? Well, this is actually the third last show tonight of the whole tour. So when this show is done, after touring for 19 months, um, Rich is already starting to come up with some new song ideas. Yep. And it's time to start thinking about uh, doing a new record. So hopefully in the next, uh, pro next year for sure. In some of your other professions sold out has other meanings. What does it mean to you when you see it with Fozzy? Sold out? Well, it's a good thing. We're sold out tonight here in Regina. So uh, anytime you can sell out, it's, it's always good. good. It's good. Paul McCartney said, if you sell out, you never know how many tickets you could have sold. If you don't sell out, you know exactly how many tickets you could have sold. We don't know how many tickets we could have sold in Regina because we sold out six weeks ago. You are very open about your music influences, but who has influenced your life that might surprise people? Hmm. Influenced my life. Oh, what do you think, Rich? You got one? Mahatma well, Gandhi. <laughs> <laughs> that was for the Beatles, right? Yeah. They had all the good Maharishi, yeah. I actually, when I met uh, Chris, I was surprised at what uh, 
heavy influence Paul McCartney and the Beatles were on him because I just assumed he listened to nothing but heavy metal. And uh, but finding out that the Beatles were a big part of your life was and for you too with funk, the funk music, yes. yacht rock. I love because I, I think part of it uh, for both of us is uh, the surprising part is is that the music that you discover when you're really young. Uh, usually sticks with you because it brings back memories. Uh, it's that's why they call them records, right? It's a it's a record of who those artists were when they made that album, and it also is a record of memories when you listen to it that it brings back. Just like if you smell perfume and all of those things that 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 kind of awakens the senses, it, it brings back yeah. memories. <clears throat> so for me, listening to the Saturday Night Fever soundtrack in disco. Reminds me of my childhood, so I still listen to it because of, of that. What kind of music do you listen to now? Rock. Ozzy. Yeah, good name, good kid. Your hockey club shirt, that's actually pretty funny. Good job. Play hockey? Okay. Too busy interviewing basketball. people. Okay. Whoa, basketball. Gotcha. What was your reaction when you were told you were having twins? Our dad took a knee when the doctor told our Same thing. It was. Almost passed out. I remember thinking I need a job, but uh, having twins is the best experience. It's so much fun. It's such a blessing to see two uh, identical people, but they're two different people too. So um, you and your brother are going to have a bond that not too many people can experience. Same with my daughters. We found at least 16 nicknames for you, Chris. What is one that didn't work you hoped would? Um, nicknames I don't know, but um, catchphrase is one that didn't work, was Razzle Dazzle. I was convinced that that was going to be the next big thing. Razzle Dazzle! Uh, I said it a couple <laughs> weeks and no one said a damn thing about it, and so no more Razzle Dazzle. That's <laughs> strong. <laughs> Although you never know. I mean, now the WhatsApp got yeah, over, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you would have never convinced yeah, that's me. True. If that's somebody true. had said, we're going to get the Dudleys to go, what's that? Like, yeah. that, like nah, <laughs> so don't do that. Have the dates for the 2019 Jericho Cruise, Cruise been decided? Not yet, but we're working on it. Hopefully there's going to be another one. Uh, and if it's not in 2019, it'll be in early 2020. So... Hopefully within the next 12 to 15 months, we'll do another one. What is your guilty pleasure? Uh, I like early 90s rap. Vanilla Ice, MC Hammer, Gerardo. MC Hammer. Yeah, you like MC Hammer? Proper! So he used to say, proper! You um, also like cherry pies. Oh, yeah, That's yeah. That's a guilty yeah. pleasure. Not the actual song. Yeah, well, I do like that too. That's a guilty, <laughs> guilty pleasure. Uh, yeah, I like uh, pies for dessert. That's my favorite dessert. What is Chris Jericho's element of surprise? See this? That's it. Right there. <laughs> it's pretty strong. You never gotcha. saw that coming, did you? <laughs> what, what Cody says about Winnipeg? Uh-oh. Geez, you're high tech. Uh, it's easier for me to tell you my least favorite place to wrestle, which is Winnipeg. I don't know if you guys know a lot about Winnipeg. We've actually been walking on there before, and we've done a YouTube episode in yeah. Winnipeg. Why, why is Winnipeg in this place? The worst fans in the world. Ask, ask the Tyson kid. He's a he's a Canadian. He, he he'll tell you I'm not lying. They're just it's uh, I don't know. They maybe it's the venue there in Winnipeg, but it's, they've seen everything. They knew about Stampede. They just yell inside jokes during the match. And this is multiple visits that I have made my proclamation that Winnipeg was the worst. Winnipeg is the worst. Well, basically, saying Winnipegers are rowdy and probably drunk. That's that, that sums us up. But I didn't know that Cody thought it was the worst place to wrestle. I never had that problem. Your list of accomplish, accomplishments is huge, but what will you conquer next? Well, I mean, to be on your show is a, is a huge honor, to be honest with you, uh, even if it's just you today and not your brother. But I think we just want to continue to build and grow and uh, uh, build Fozzie as a band and, and continue to build Chris Jericho's brand as, a, as an entertainer. So um, I think that's the biggest goal. What about you, Rich? Yeah, I mean, I think we set our sights out to be a great rock and roll band, and as the as the the band has kind of developed, we've we've seen greater potential than maybe we even thought we had because our expectations of what Fozzy was in the early days is different from what we see now. And with every album, you see higher chart positions, and you see bigger crowds, and you see the record industry 
embracing us in a way they didn't even a couple of years ago. So I think it even has made us believers beyond the, the kind of rock hard belief we've already had. So I think we want to meet those expectations by continuing to push each other. Like literally push. Literally. Don't push me. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite social media, why? Uh, I like Instagram because the big pictures. Yeah, me too. Instagram, uh, Twitter, and Facebook have just turned into people arguing with each other. Yeah, and, and it's just... so small too. Like, like if you're on your phone at Twitter, there's four tweets and a page, and it's just the Instagram is more fun. Yeah. Anything else? Oh, I think you did a great job. First of all, yeah. I think your brother better get well pretty soon, or he might lose his gig. <laughs> But uh, I think it's a pretty cool thing that you guys are doing, and that's why we, we wanted to, to do this and be a part of it. So keep it up. Now let me ask you a question. Did you write those questions? You came, someone else came up with them? Okay. Some, His some producer. Did you come up with some of the questions? Okay, well, that's good. It's part, it's part of the team. Good stuff. Did you have fun? All right, give me five. There you go. <laughs>